Okay. All right, so we're here at our veterans treatment team. Again, our virtual vet veterans treatment team. So I appreciate everyone being here again. And again, uh, the purpose that we've been uh, meeting on every Tuesday is uh, to go down our list of veterans and our contact with them during this uh, pandemic quarantine. And then also following up personally with them on Thursdays and Fridays to make sure we're reaching out to them. This week's a special week, so it's Armed Forces Week. Uh, this uh, is an opportunity to celebrate those who have served the United States. One of the things that we're doing, and uh, the team will, will be part of this, it has been part of the planning, so I thank all of you as well, uh, an opportunity to provide a care kit um, gift bag to all of our veterans. And um, I do want to recognize three of our team members. So. We have uh, Mr. Francis Arenzi, who is a public defender, part of our veterans treatment team, and he served us proudly in the Army. So thank you, Mr. Arenzi. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Stephanie Gillums, who is one of our probation officers, again, serving uh, our United States in the Army as well. So thank you, Stephanie, and recognizing you. Thank you. And then we have uh, Mr. Ryan Murphy, um, he has served uh, us in two facets, both in the Marines and the Air Force. So Mr. Murphy is also one of our probation officers. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, sir. And then uh, Amanda Wozniak is with us. And so she is our coordinator. Uh, I, I don't wanna skip other members who are participating. We always have the prosecutor with us, Ms. Kupak's with us. Um, Ms. Haggard is here from our veteran administration. So thank you, and she's been a, a a member of the team uh, and she helps with connecting a, a veteran to the VA. And Mr. Smith, George Smith is with us. He works with our task uh, connections to individuals who may not be connected to the VA. So uh, thank you all again as, a, as our proud team. Ms. Wozniak, why don't you just speak a little bit about what we've been able to do to put together in this care kit or care package for our veterans. Sure, so we're starting off with a little note to our team. So. All of our, our team members have been able to get a note together just to our vets, letting them know that we do care and we still think about them. Um, so that goes inside our little bag right here and we put that in there. Um, and then just some tips as well, just to remain you know, healthy and um, giving them some thoughts. And then of course our handy dandy sanitizer, which we would like to locally thank our um, Western Reserve uh, Distillery for being able to provide us with the uh, sanitizer for that. And that's going into little spray bottles um, for them to be able to use. And then uh, of course we have our masks that we're giving them and they include filters as well. Um, so we kept it neutral colors for all of our vets. So each one of them are getting those. And then we have our nitro gloves as well. So they're getting little baggies with the gloves as well. So all of that's going inside our little packages and then we'll either be delivering them to our vets where if they're in treatment facilities, we'll make sure that they are getting them there or uh, we'll be mailing them out. And then our mentors also offer to be able to uh, go to the VFW post or American Legion post and if the vets would like to pick them up there where they can actually meet with their mentors for a little bit um, they'd be more than willing to help out with that as well with the delivery of that so that way they can get some face time with their mentors so um, we would just like to thank our mentors for that as well that's very kind of them um, and yeah it's just a little care package that we wanted to put together for them to let them know that we're thinking about them we're still here um, and if you know there's anything else that we could be helping with during this time of course we're always available all right well thank you and again team it's uh, it's a, an honor for me to serve as as the uh, judge who represents the veterans treatment team um, it's been a great experience for me uh, it's hard for me to believe that we're going on a year and a half as a, as a team, but it's been great. So thank you all.